you set up a new server yesterday. You go to check the logs for unauthorized login attempts and you see one in the middle of the night. Your office is closed at this time, so you go into panic mode. You spend the next 15 minutes checking other logs and checking for any other signs of an intrusion. You walk over to your coworker's desk to tell them what happened and they proceed to tell you it was them. That doesn't make sense because the coworker is telling you that it happened 35 minutes ago. You run the date command and notice the time zone is reflecting UTC, but you're in the US Central Standard Time. How do you fix this issue? This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to set the time zone on a Linux system. Stick with me. I've got a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional offers, send in the comment section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. All right. So I'm going to go and shrink my, I'm going to go get, get rid of my face here. All right, so let's take a look here at the desktop. We're here on our Ubuntu server, and this is what I'm talking about here. So we ran the date command in that scenario, in that hypothetical scenario, but we can see here that it is showing that it is 11.41.32 p.m. Uh, UTC, which is universal time. Now, that is definitely not what time it is where I am. And that is exactly how that scenario can play out. It's because you, like, what... With certain servers, you're not always, especially when you're setting up servers, you may not be prompted during the install to actually set a time zone. So then you're gonna have to do that post installation. And that's usually where your where your scripts and stuff like that come in, in come into play. But you know, in this particular case, we can just say that it ended up not being um, it ended up not being uh, applied appropriately. So we ended up with the incorrect time zone. So what are we gonna do to fix that? Now I wanna start off by saying that this is the method used for system B systems, which most modern Linux distributions are. Uh, the um, to get the current time zone date and time information, use the time date CTL command, which is going to be like this: time date CTL. We're going to whoops, spelled time wrong. Let's go ahead and redo that. There we go. And this is going to give us a bit of information here. The command is going to give us the local time, universal time, RTC time, time zone. Uh, your if your clock is synchronized if NTP is active and if RTC is a local time zone. So that's what we're getting from that command. And like you see, you get more information than you do with the date command. The date's quite dated at this point in time, uh, no pun intended, but yeah, the time date CTL command will give you um, quite a bit of information about the time date and all that kind of stuff. So you can always use that for any of that information. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this out. Now, when you're changing the time zone, is you're going to need to make sure when you actually change the time zone itself, you will need to run the command as sudo because you are making changes to the system configuration. Now, you know, to be able if you're not sure what your time zone is like or how to input the time zone is it's going to have to be in a certain specific manner. So, what you can do is you can go ahead and run the time date ctl and then list time zones. And this is going to give you the time zones that are available. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this because that's a lot of stuff. Now, what I recommend doing is let me actually clear this out is you're going to want to grep this through grep I. So you can just do time and date list time zone. And then in my particular case, I'm going to look for grep and grep I is basically going to say, Hey, look for this, but don't look for it. Like case doesn't matter for us. So we're going to look for Chicago because I'm in U.S. Central Time. And then there we go. We can see that it is indeed America, Chicago. Now, when you're when you're when you go to change the actual time zone, I highly encourage you to copy the time zone directly from the output just because you're going to have to type it in just like that. So that's what I'm going to do. You can type it out if you want. It's going to be solely up to yourself. Now, let's go ahead and actually um, let's go ahead and actually set, set the time zone. We're going to do time. C, uh, time, date, CT, CTL, and then we're going to do set uh, time zone. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put in our time zone, which in this case, pick their case is America slash Chicago. And there we go. It's going to ask us for the password because I didn't put sudo in there. Perfect. Uh, there we go. And if we run the, let's clear this out. If we run the time date ctl command again we can now see that it is indeed 6 5 central daylight time or central standard time whatever you however you want to call it but yeah so yeah that is exactly how you change the how you change the 
um, change the time zone on a Linux server or Linux machine from the command line. Now, now that your server, now your server is going to show you the right time because you've set it proper, you've set the time zone properly. Go check out this other video uh, from my channel if you're interested. Remember, mistakes make you better, so keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.